Hello. It's been a long time. I'm here with another pickup video after almost two weeks of not having the time to do it. Oh yeah, picked up a second job. Shut up my voice is so much stuff, but I've got a lot of phlegm. <laughs> That's a lot better. Alright, hi guys. Uh, it's me, Nick, again. Um, here at the pickup video. I got a lot of stuff to show you, so uh, let's get to it. Um, I mean, it's kind of a lot of random stuff, but it's cool stuff. I'm going to start this off by uh, Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. Picked this bad up at Walmart for $15. Super excited. Um, haven't had the chance to play it yet, but uh, my kids are biting at the hills. Like, oh, no! So hopefully, Moom Shacky Lacky will have time this week to bust your own out. Okay, well. We'll start with the Goodwill after that. Goodwill has long been a sense of contemplation and contemporary anger in my life. But, in this case, I got a wheel bitty Sega. I got it for 20 bucks. Um, didn't come with anything, but I think I have all the cords to make it work. So hopefully I get that powered up. Um, I also got a Grimlock uh, Transformer. I'm going to give that to my oldest. I'm trapped. I mean, I have nothing to do with it, so hopefully he likes it. And, um, yeah, Goodwill had a few other goodies as well. Things I... I know you can't see me, so just just bear with me. See my hand? Just one, two, three seconds. I'm back. Picked up some, uh, some Destiny for the 360 for $7. I also picked up uh, Killzone Trilogy. I paid uh, $5 for that one. They're awesome Goodwill finds. And then, the only thing that I was actually really excited about would have been the, uh, the, the $8 slim PS2. Like the rest of the PS2s I get, I have no idea if it works. Came with nothing else. Um, I'm going to hook it up and pray to God that it powers on and reads discs. If not, it'll go to the, the game graveyard. Um, I'll throw a shot in that, you know, a little bit. There's a, a certain bookshelf where it's right behind me. Most of them are just kaput. Or the random, you know, it's just one thing works, one thing doesn't. I have a GameCube that'll play any game you want, as long as you don't want to be first player and you uh, don't want to have sound. Game reads, two, three, and four work. Anyone can fix it, you let me know, because I can't figure it out. Next. Next is, uh, I had a big trade this week. A buddy of mine wanted a Wii and a bunch of stuff to go with it, so I ended up uh, trading him for all of his kind of like shuffleware common carts. Um, I got a bunch of Genesis, Super Nintendo... Uh, NES stuff. It, I'm not going to go through and name them all, because most of them are sports titles. They said they're just shuffleware, and it was an extra Wii I didn't need it, so I didn't mind. Uh, but I'm going to spelunk through it right now if I haven't looked through this stuff yet. If I find anything really great, I'll be sure to let you know. Some Top Gun, some Jeopardy, got some Silent Service, some NES Golf, just some classics. Nothing really great, but, you know, they're fun games all together. Uh, College football, USA, 1997. You can't go wrong with football. Unless, of course, you do. And I'm not trying to deflate the topic or anything or throw anyone under the bus, but it seems a little airless. Got some Metal Gear, probably one of the better games in this lot. I'm assuming I'm going to pull out. World Cup. Wheel of Fortune. Tetris 2. Okay, so maybe it's better than I thought it was. I love that game. Um, and I got uh, Pro Challenge. So just a bunch of random cards. Nothing amazing. Uh, what else is left? What else is left? 1080 Tricky. Nope. 1080 Snowboarding. And Captain Skyhawk. All that, that's like, what, like 15 cards for uh, a Wii? No complaints. No problemo. Next. Okay, the next pickup uh, is actually the one I'm probably the second, number two, most excited about. Um, uh, one of my best friends has got a massive game collection. Uh, it is a collection. He doesn't ever resell. He doesn't ever trade unless there's something he really wants or he stumbles across a duplicate copy. And uh, he got a hold of me and said that he uh, was looking to buy an engagement ring. He wanted to know if I wanted to buy anything. And I told him, yeah, to send me a list of stuff, and we talk. And I went over there, and I didn't really... I was expecting it to be like a normal thing, and ended up being uh, the most awkward transaction of my life. Because, 
He's my best friend since the second grade. And I really just, I just wanted to sit there and play No Mercy. I didn't even want to buy anything. It's not that I didn't want it. I just, I don't know. I just, I really wanted to unlock Andre and No Mercy. So um, I'm going to go through some of the highlights, some of the random things, the personal favorites, and then the financial favorites. Because some are strictly purchased to resell. And uh, just to recoup the cost of everything else. Um, I did happen to get these. Are all GameCube uh, boxes and manuals. There are no games in this one right here. Um, I got Star Fox Assault, Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, Mario Kart Double Dash, Goblin Commander, and Need for Speed Carbon. Now, all these are just boxes. They don't have the games, but uh, being that I do like GameCube and I have a bunch of friends um, that do collect GameCube, these always come in handy for trade bait. So I always snap them up. Next. All right, box number one. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Picked up some Genesis stuff. Let's see what we got here. Got uh, NFL Quarter Black Club 96, NBA Jam, College Football's National Championship, Football 94, Pat O'Reilly Basketball, I suppose. Um, one of my all time absolute favorite Genesis games. Of, I mean, there's very few games I like more than this. A handful of most of them are other sports titles. But uh, Joe Montana 2, I think it's called actually Sports Talk Football. Yeah, Sports Talk Football. Um, but it's just one of the most fun, iconic football games in the Genesis. If you've ever played the Genesis, if you've never played Joe Montana, you should go out and do it. It's fantastic. Um, and then, of course, Sonic 2. These are the loose Genesis cards. There are some complete ones and ones that have the cases. And they're not necessarily better titles, but they are interesting. Um, I have Aladdin. This is actually just the box only. He couldn't find the game. He's going to get it to me as soon as he locates it. Let me see what else is there. Alright. NHL 97. Coach K, college basketball. Sports Talk Football 93, Joe Montana and all 28 teams. John Madden Football 93. All these are complete. Um, the only thing that's missing is the John Madden uh, play map. I don't know if you guys have ever seen one, but they're awesome. It's not included, which kind of bummed me out. Box number two. Picked up some WWF Attitude 64. And NHL 99 for the 64. One of the, easily one of the best games I got from him. Um, this one is, for me, for my personal collection, one of my all-time favorites. The, my favorite Zelda game of all time. Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX for the Game Boy Color. This game is just flawless. It is so good. Someone's here. No one's here. My dogs are fruitcakes. Back. Um, I got some extra Game Boy cases. That's amazing. If I can get them out of the box. Picked up Madden 99. Like I said, nothing super hard to find. A WWF Warzone. A Major League Baseball starring Ken Griffey Jr. For the N64, these are all fun titles. I mean, they're fun games to play with your buddies, but I'm not looking to get rid of any of them. And then Dual Heroes 2, which I've never played, so I'm kind of interested to try it out. My buddy said it's like a cross between Mortal Kombat and Power Rangers, which I think sounds like a really intriguing yet almost possibly disappointing combination. So I'm hoping that uh, I enjoy it. Um, there was a couple uh, DS games. I got uh, Brain Age and um, Brain Age 2 sealed. It's the only reason I bought those from him is because... They're sealed. When it comes to video games, if it's sealed, I'm there. I could care less if it was 50 copies of Madden. Uh, something about sealed games that just kind of like gets me excited. I love it. I'm stoked. And then I got Space Camp. Also sealed. Picked up Crash Bandicoot for the PlayStation. The uh, the Mrs., or soon-to-be Mrs., has um, already decided that game is going to be hers. 
Um, she's like, it's mine. I'm like, okay. She's like, mine. I'm like, all right. You can have it, baby. It's cool. Crash isn't my thing. They're great games. They're lots of fun, but I uh, was always more of a Nintendo guy, so I never got into the PlayStation until later on, and then I was an RPG whore, so I never really got into Crash. And when I did get into PlayStation stuff that wasn't RPG related, it was Spiral. Um, I love that little dragon. Um, I got some PS2 games as well. Nothing amazing, but, uh, I don't know, I mean, like I said, Shuffleware, um, Madden 07, Legend, oh, my bad, Lord of the Rings, Return of the King, I don't know why I said Legend, other than the fact that I love that word, I've got Mortal Kombat, Shaolin Monks, I've never actually played this one, so anyone that wants to comment with their views on the game, if it's any good, what they think about it, it'd be great. I'd love to hear some input. Um, the last Mortal Kombat game I actually played was, like, Deadly Alliance, so I don't even know. This one came out before that, I don't know, but that was, that was 2000 and, I don't know, like, four or something. It was a long time ago. Um, Project Eden. Sounds dirty. In a good way. There it goes. Oh, yeah, hopefully I didn't just destroy it. Um... I guess I'm a Butterfingers McGraw today, so I, I really am kind of uh, interested to play it. Hopefully it reads. And then uh, Ghost Recon. Um, I think I got one more. Ah, the last PS2 game that he had was uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted Black Edition Sealed. Now, I don't know a thing about this game. I've never played it, but uh, it's sealed, so I was happy to acquire it. Um, I got a handful of other random titles. I picked up Guitar Heroes for the Wii. Um, it's not in this box. I think it's upstairs. Kids are playing that already. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront. Um, that is a fantastic game. I was stoked to have it. That one's on the Xbox. And then I picked up a Guitar Hero Legends of Rock for the 360. I don't know what happened to the uh, the case. It's just it looks like it got chewed up. I asked him if he was hungry, but he said he wasn't really into plastic. So I don't know. I mean, I've eaten worse. Um, and then the the fun part. I say fun part, like I said, I'm a Nintendo guy, so I tend to be more interested in GameCubes and, and Nintendo, Super Nintendo stuff than I am for anything else on disc. Um, and I got Donkey Konga 2, which uh, you wouldn't guess it by my voluptuous figure, but I love the Konga. I love those games, they're amazing. I think I still have like three of the controllers, so I'm stoked. Um, this title, uh, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, um, Master Quest is going to end up being one of the ones that gets resold. Uh, like I said, I had to recoup the cost of everything else. Um, I also picked up Metroid Prime and Metroid Prime 2 uh, for the same reason. I'm just going to throw them on eBay and sell them. Um, mainly because I'm keeping everything else. And most of their games are games that my kids and I will play. Even the Shuffleware titles will have a lot of fun. Plus, I mean, they might end up being trade bait, but they're not... There's no overall financial gain for me, and there's no personal connection, so most of the stuff, aside from the few jobs, I was like, hee hee, you know, I, I'm going to get rid of. Um, and then, oh yeah, there's Dead Rising for the 360. This one's going to my personal collection. I I have one, scratched a piss, had the hell played out of it, the kids have beat the snot out of it. Um, it's a fantastic game, it's super fun. Um, it's one of my favorite zombie games, actually. They haven't made a whole lot that I really like more than this, and uh, I'm super excited to have it. Excuse all the bending over, but uh, I'm sitting in a chair, which is a little lower than I'm used to, and instead of taking things off a table, I am uh, taking them off the floor now. Um, it's the third time I think I've dropped things on video, so bear with me. So my last pickup, um, I went to a store called the Video Game Cave. It's in Owasso. It's ran by Nintendo 13. Uh, it's about half an hour from where I live. Uh, he's a buddy of mine, though, so I figured I'd check it out. He just got it open a couple weeks ago, and he was super excited about it. Now I was excited for him. So um, I drove out there with um, some random trade bait. Nothing nothing really like, oh, my God, but uh, just things that I knew he liked and collected. He, manuals for the games he had, Nintendo Powers, things that they, if, you're a niche, if you're a Nintendo guy, then that's the kind of stuff you want. Um, and I got... Some awesome stuff for my personal collection. And I am super excited. It's probably the smallest pickup all week, but it's by far the best. So I'm going to reach back here and I'm going to grab these bad devils. We'll start with Godzilla Unleashed for the Wii. Now, I don't know if I ever, I've emphasized this or no one's got the hint yet, but I love Godzilla. Godzilla is easily one of my all-time favorite movie franchises. It's my favorite game franchise. It's just everything about it I think is amazing. Tag teaming on the back of that bad devil. Picked up Godzilla 
Destruction for the Game Boy Advanced. I cannot tell you how many times I've almost owned this game in my life. And it's finally mine. Mine. Ah, there's a few more. Now, I also got Tesserae for the original Game Boy. Home Alone 2 for the original Game Boy. Tetris Blast for the original Game Boy. Tom and Jerry, uh, Frantic Attack for the original Game Boy. Hall Wrestling for the original Game Boy. And Fortress of Fear for the original Game Boy. Now, I think I paid maybe like eight or nine bucks for all six of these cards, but the sticker price on them was like four, four, three, so that's 11. Here's another five, that's 16. That's two, so that's 18. So that's. Three, that's twenty-one dollars. That I got a he cut me a great deal on these. Um, all six are going into my collection, so I'll have that updated as soon as I can. I'm super excited about it. I needed all of them. None of them are super hard to find in terms of value, like price wise, but a lot of Game Boy games are just scarce. They're just not in this area. And they're not worth much. That's what makes them hard to find, because a lot of stores won't carry them because they don't bring a lot of money in. But to someone like me who wants all of them, this was a gold mine. I could not be more excited. The last game I got from him was Dragon Ball Z Takatsu for the Game Boy Advance. Now, normally, I get excited for Game Boy stuff. And I didn't, wasn't even going to buy this. I was walking by, looked at the rack. I was like, oh, these are great games, but nothing I'm interested. And then I seen it, and I was like, you know, I have a couple of Dragon Ball Z boxes at home, but I don't have the games. So it was $3, I took a chance and bought it. And when I got home, one didn't you know... I had the box of manual. So now, I have a complete minty copy of Dragon Ball Z Takatsu. And I could not be more excited. It, it's, there's nothing better than complete Game Boy games. Well, it's Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance. This is a thing of beauty. And this big guy is happy to have it. Thank you very much. So that pretty much does it on this week's pickup videos. Um, I was a little all over the place. I was really excited to see you guys. It's been forever. So if you managed to make it through the whole thing, you know... Hit me in the comments below. If you like anything you see, please let me know. If you hate it, let me know. I love I love the feedback. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Um, keep calm and game on.